Greg O'Shea, Josh Van Der Fleer here, about to brave the elements. Ah, yeah. Woo! Hi guys, I'm Greg O'Shea and I'm here with Connecticut. I'm in Dunleary. Luckily, we have the weather for it and I'm meeting up with a very special player today. World Rugby Player of the Year, Josh Van Der Fleer. Back then when you were a young fella, what was that like getting stuck in at the early days? I was happened to be in UCD uh, going to a lecture. Leinster was short on, uh, they were short a player for training. So I got a call and they were like, we need you to pop up. I'd never pop into to the training facility and we need you to train today. And I'd never, I didn't even have boots or anything <laughs> with me. So I managed to borrow a pair of boots off someone, turned <laughs> up um, and- Ran out of your lecture, obviously didn't go to Yeah, yeah, exactly. Skipped the lecture, turned up to training and uh, I remember like all the lads coming up to me saying hello. I remember Brian Driscoll come up to me and he's like, hi, my name is Brian. And I was like, oh, like I obviously know who you are. <laughs> but uh, I remember he passed me the ball twice in training and I dropped it both, both times. Because I'd never even met, I'd never met him. Like I'd obviously seen him in person on the games. And, uh, it's a stuff a nightmare. Yeah, like. It nearly wasn't going to happen for you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 <laughs> if you went off that first training, I'd have been, go I'd have been gone. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> It was all going well for you, so you got into the Irish squad and then like many lads in their career feel they get a big injury which is kind of like a pivotal moment for them. You did your ACL, mentally that must have been hard. Yeah, it was tough, it was tough. Um, I, like, I was very lucky to have brilliant, firstly the medical staff in Leinster were, were incredible. Yeah. Um, managed to get me back, rehab went well that way. When you're such a long term injury like that, you're trying to get like even the smallest little marginal advantage, the, the little one percent, I suppose you'd say. One thing that's so important with, especially knee injuries, is is how your leg strength and how you build that up. You might finish a rehab session, might have a quick protein shake, um, maybe a shot of collagen after some of the rehab stuff that helps helps with the regeneration there. Um, you're just looking for small margins. It's really hard to say, oh, that's what it was. It was. I took this or I did this rehab exercise. You have all these tiny little things that kind of build towards. It's all the 1%. Yeah, exactly, say, yeah. yeah. You are currently the best player in the world. Was it always a goal of yours or did it just kind of happen? Um, I suppose a bit of both, I guess. I, I would always, I wouldn't have, like there's so much that goes into, say, getting an award like that. It's A lot of it is the team success and obviously I was lucky to be part of, uh, very good Irish and Leinster teams and uh, obviously playing when teams are doing well the players on the field look look better but it's something that's there's so much outside your control I guess in that way but definitely something I'd always try and aim for is to be the best how can I be the best player in my position like I remember the first first training session back I think I dropped a ball uh, <laughs> it was just we had a bit of a break and came back in dropped the ball and everyone's like, hey, you're meant, be, you're meant to be the best player or whatever, this sort of thing. So, um, yeah, but it, it's it's very much uh, back to normal in that way. I'm not treated any differently. I still, if I make a mistake, I'm still called out in the video review and stuff. And uh, Brilliant. Don't think about, which, is a, which is a great thing. I think it has to be that way. Uh, and, and as you said, no one's, no one's bigger than the team. So it's uh, like individual awards are nice. They're kind of like they're nice things that maybe when I finish playing or you can look back on it, maybe even privately it gives you a bit of confidence or satisfaction, but uh, day to day it's, it's still like a team sport and I suppose that's the most important thing. Your ball carry, man, even though it was good before, it's like increased by like threefold, like you're just getting so many more carries, you're getting more meters. Was that a purposely done thing or did that just come as part of the, the whole package of just improving? Um, it's something I'd actually been working on for a few, a few years. I'd always been trying to improve it, and especially the last two, three years, um, I'd been looking at other players and around the world and, and how they carried the ball. And um, I was trying to bring uh, bring a bit more explosiveness into it, I guess. Um, and that was certainly an area where I saw I could definitely improve a bit. All of a sudden, I was in a situation where I was like not playing and I was like I need to I need to like I need to do something here to to have those big moments to try and get myself back in the team and, and that meant trying to get on the ball more, trying to carry the ball more and, and having that more explosiveness and stuff and trying to dominate collisions and trying to so it's shifting my mindset from being someone who's just trying to survive a, a ball like carrying the ball, trying to survive as opposed to trying to dominate the opposition and 
Accelerate a bit more far. Exactly, yeah. 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 The big tournaments coming up soon. The Six Nations is very, very soon, and the World Cup at the end of the year. So, is your mind fully set on those? Or are you very much just like next game, next game, or or is it in the Irish camp with Andy Farrell? Are you talking about guys? We need to win the Six Nations now. We're number one in the world. How does that kind of work? Um, I think I I I be day to day as you said that you're kind of week to week you're preparing. So, say you have like a training week, you're trying to get prep for the next week and then a game week you're trying to get all your detail right and everything but then definitely in the in the back of my mind or you definitely take time during those t those weeks to to think like what's my motivation i want to win six nations yeah and that i think that definitely helps your motivation then because you have something that you're you're pushing towards not just another week where you're just doing um going through the motions I guess but you have you have something at the back of your mind that you're like I'm real tired here it's been a tough few days training one more training of the week before the game and you have that motivation you're like no no, no I'm going to work hard because we, we want to win the Six Nations and if we want to do that we've got to train well like yeah that kind of yeah so, exactly yeah. always remember your why exactly yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah and I presume that you guys as a whole as an Irish team you're number one in the world so you have to be thinking about the World Cup and if Ireland are going to win it, it's probably one of the best chances to do it. Or is that just me as like a supporter getting really excited? Have you guys even thought about it? Um, I suppose it's 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 obviously mentioned. You hear people like uh, people on the street kind of you be just uh, ch chit chat, I guess, and everyone's talking about the World Cup. And um, it's definitely something we've since Andy Farrell came in uh, after the last World Cup. Um, it's all been geared towards this World Cup and. And try and improve and keep keep improving. So, I think the main focus obviously will be focused on the Six Nations. And but I think something that's been emphasised a lot is trying to improve each tournament and each game. So, I think that'll be we'll obviously fully focus on the Six Nations. But then we'll want to see how we can keep improving, see how we get on the Six Nations, and then after that we try and improve again for the War of Games and then into the World Cup. So. But it's definitely, I suppose... It's in the back of the mind. Uh, it's in the back of the mind. You're obviously incredibly <laughs> excited for it, but uh, try not to think about it too much when you're coming into game weeks and stuff. There's but a lot of rugby to be played before exactly. then, of course. Exactly. But the thing that I've probably noticed from the outside looking in is you guys as, as a Leinster team, but also an Irish team, you seem very happy. You seem very cohesive. Not that you weren't happy with Joe Smith, but you seem to be expressing yourselves a lot more. And Andy Farrell talks about, I think, team first is what he always says in his interviews. So what's it like being in the Irish camp and, uh, and Leinster camp as well? You seem to have a great crack, to be honest. Yeah, it's really enjoyable. Yeah, really, really enjoyable. I think, firstly, you've got a great group of lads. Um, I think no matter what environment you're in, it would be, it would be good crack with a lot of them. Um, but I think the, the atmosphere that's created in Leinster and, uh, and in Ireland as well, it's very much... Uh, um, there's obviously the performance side of it, and because that's what ultimately it's about is, is performing. But there's definitely a big emphasis on uh, spending time together as a group. Um, there's time given in both environments. There's time given to to make sure the players like have time together, have a bit of crack, maybe play a few games or yeah. uh, get some social time together, whether it's going for dinner or that kind of thing. And I think those things, those small things, spending time with each other, getting to know the other players on the team better that makes a big difference in terms of, I suppose, that perception that you'd have of, of do we seem to be really enjoying yeah. it? Because we are, because you get to spend time with your mates then after a while, so. Yeah, exactly, 100%. Well, I don't want to hold you too much longer. You have to get a bag packed and get to Portugal for the training camp. So, will we get in for a dip? We will, let's go. Yeah. Let's do it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, good work, guys. <laughs> So <laughs> 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 <laughs>